Hello friends, in this video, let us discuss about the protective relays used in power system protection. So, this is a basic connection diagram of your protective relays. So, this is your bus. So, here, this is your bus. This is your bus and here you are having a circuit breaker and uh, this is your relay. And uh, we are using instrument transformers here. So, this is your current transformer and this is your potential transformer. So, because the normal measuring instruments are not able to measure the high power system voltage and current. So, in order to measure the high values of the voltage and current of the power system, we are using basically the current transformer and the potential transformer or you can say the voltage transformer. So, initially if we understand the basic differences between the circuit breaker and the relay, so the relays are the predictive switches which are used to isolate the faulty portion of the power system from the healthy power system. So it isolates the fault portion and uh, it avoids the undesirable interruption of the healthy portion. So health, for the healthy portion the power is supplied but for the faulty portion it isolates the faulty portion from the rest of the electrical power system. So the relays are used as predictive switches for smaller power applications the relays themselves act as predictive switches. So for smaller smaller power applications the relay themselves act as predictive switches to isolate the faulty portion from rest of the healthy power system. So the themselves act as predictive switches but for higher power applications the relays are used as sensing devices or predictive devices which senses any imbalance occurring in the power system or which senses any abnormal condition in the power system and thereby it sends a signal to the circuit breaker and that circuit breaker isolates the faulty portion from rest of the electrical system. So this is the basic difference what is a relay and the circuit breaker. But for so, in order, let us remember these points for smaller power application, the relays themselves are used as the predictive switches and for higher power applications, it uses, it takes the help of the circuit breakers. So, using a low power circuit, we are going to isolate the high power circuit. So, basically, the relay signal, the triggering signal is a very small electrical signal and which is, by using that small electrical signal, we are going to isolate the power system which is at a, a high potential which is having a high voltage and current. So now let us understand the operational principle of this predictive relay. So here you are, this is your going to your feeder. So the secondary of the current transformer is connected to the current coil of the relay and the secondary of the potential transformer is connected to the voltage coil of the relay. So one is the current coil and one is the voltage coil. Now, the secondary of this current transformer is connected to the current coil of this relay and the secondary of this potential transformer is connected to the voltage coil of the relay. Now, whenever there is a fault in the feeder circuit, so fault indicates there is a high value of current to be drawn. That means the proposed state secondary current of this current transformer will flow through the current coil of this relay. Now, whenever there is a high current flowing through the current coil of this relay, the MMF of the coil increases. So, we know that MMF of coil is given by MMF is equal to N into I. Now, as your current increases, the MMF of the coil increases and this MMF of the coil is sufficient enough to mechanically close the normally open closed uh, normally open contact of this DC trip coil circuit. So the MMM of this coil is sufficient to close the normally open contact of this DC trip coil circuit. So this trip contact gets closed as the MMM of this coil increases and when it closes the DC trip coil circuit is completed and this is your trip coil 
and once the once this circuit gets completed the trip coil gets energized and this trip coil after getting energized it initiates a mechanical movement of tripping mechanism it initiates the mechanical movement of the tripping mechanism to isolate the faulty portion and ultimately the circuit breaker is tripped to isolate the fault so this is basically how the faulty portion is isolated in a power system using the protective layers so let us summarize it whenever there is a fault in the feeder circuit the proportionate secondary current will flow through the secondary current of this current transformer will flow through the current coil of this relay and as there is a high current the mmf of this current coil increases which is sufficient enough to close this open trip contact of the dc trip coil circuit and once this contact gets closed your trip coil is energized by this dc voltage and once the trip coil is energized it initiates the mechanical movement of the tripping mechanism and thereby ultimately the faulty portion is isolated via the circuit breakers so if we discuss the functional requirements of this protective relay so the requirements include one is the reliability so the reliability is a requisite of any protective relay the relay may re remain inoperative for a long time before a fault occurs but when a fault occurs the relay may respond instantly and correctly so the relay has to respond instantly and correctly when a fault occurs and the second functional requirement is selectivity so the relay may be the relay has to be operated in those conditions for relays are commissioned so there may be some typical conditions during which the relays may not has to be operated or they may be operated after some definite time delay so the relays must be sufficiently capable enough to choose the appropriate conditions to operate and isolate the fault so this is what is your selectivity now the third requirement is sensitivity now once the fault crosses the pre uh, predefined limit then the sensitivity or the the sensitivity of the protective relay should be high enough to sense the fault and uh, it should be reliable enough to isolate the faulty portion and the fourth requirement is speed so the protective relays should respond with the required speed whenever a fault occurs now it it is essential in power system that whenever a fault occurs the faulty portion should be isolated but the healthy portion should not be affected that means a correct coordination among the relays should be maintained in a power system so if i say a fault has occurred in some circuit and it is now since the healthy portion should not be affected with that faulty portion the relays may operate with a good coordination but since they are electrically connected some fault current flows through that healthy circuit some fault current flows through the healthy circuit but the relays associated with this healthy portion of the system or you can say healthy portion of the system should not be fast enough to respond then the relays associated with the faulty portion so the relays associated with the faulty portion should respond before the relays associated with this healthy portions respond so they should not be faster in operation than the relays associated with the faulty portion if the if the relays associated with the healthy portion gets operated then it results in undesirable operation of the relays in the power system now the other thing is if the relays associated with the faulty portion does not respond in time or they do not operate in time due to some defect then the relay associated with the next healthy portion should operate and it should isolate the faulty portion that means the relays should not be fast enough which no which may result in undesirable op op uh, undesirable operation and the relays should not be slow enough which may result in the damage to equipments so this is 
basically the working or you can say the operational principle of your relay and the functional requirements of the protective relay used in power system protection i hope you understood well please subscribe to our channel thank you